Hi, this is Mike, and I had an interesting question come up in the forums recently that I thought I would share since some other peoples may have a similar situation. And what it was about was how to give immediate feedback in your quizzes about correct answers when somebody misses a question. So several different ways to do that. Uh, first of all, you know, anytime you create a quiz in Storyline, you're going to get some default feedback. And it's pretty generic and basically just tells us if you got it right or wrong and that you didn't select the correct response. And a lot of times that's fine, but sometimes you might want to tell your learners you know, why they missed the question or why their answer was right or wrong. Or maybe even if they missed it, you might want to tell them what the correct answer is. So several things, like I said, that we can do. One option that we have available is to enable this review quiz button on the results slide so that learners can review which questions they got right or wrong. And that also gives you an option to indicate what the correct answer is. And again, sometimes that may work. But in this particular occasion, the question was, how can I give this sort of feedback that's available in this review process, but instead of waiting to the end of the quiz and then revisiting those questions, they wanted to give that feedback immediately as soon as they answer. If we jump back over here to our question, the first thing that probably comes to most people's mind is to simply jump in and edit our question in the form view, and then just come down here to the text response where we can give the feedback and just customize that feedback message. And maybe I'll add something in here, still telling me that I didn't get the right response, but then I can go ahead and continue on to tell them what the correct answer is or any other specific messages do you want to give at that point. So that's one super fast and easy way. If you want to get a little bit more specific and you're using a question type that supports it, another option here would be to customize the feedback by choice and now I'm going to be able to go in and give specific feedback for each particular answer that they might choose. So those are two really quick and easy ways that you can give that feedback after each question because those feedback messages are displayed as soon as you hit submit to submit your answer. If you'd prefer to make that correct answer feedback a little more visual one idea you might try is to use an object state for that correct answer and then set up a simple trigger that changes it from the normal state over to your custom correct answer state and you can see there that that's a nice visual to show what the correct answer was immediately upon answering the question. So let's see how easy that is to set up. Now what I've got here, this is my correct answer. And all I did was go and edit states. And I created a new state. I created a custom state. I called mine feedback. And I just changed the format of the text to green and added this little correct icon to indicate that visually as the correct answer. Now the only thing else we need is something to trigger that change from the normal state over to our custom state that we want to show when they answer the question. So that's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to do a new trigger here. I want to change the state of, and in this case, button three is the correct answer in my quiz. And I'm going to change that to our custom state that we added, which I called feedback. And we want to do that when the user clicks the submit button. And that's really all there is to that. One thing that's pretty common with triggers is just make sure you get these in the correct order. Make sure that you submit the interaction before you trigger that state change or you'll have some errors scoring your quiz question. And finally, another easy to implement option is to work directly on your feedback layers. Using feedback layers opens all kinds of possibilities for giving feedback. In this particular case, I have circled the correct answer and added a video. So maybe they didn't get it the first time through the content. 
Now I'm going to give them a little refresher video to maybe explain some of the nuances or details about that answer and why they got it right or why they got it wrong. And the great thing about working with feedback layers is that anything you can put on a slide, you can also put on one of these feedback layers. So the possibilities for your feedback are virtually endless. And we can take a quick preview of how this one works. The one thing that you have to be careful about when you are working with slide layers is make sure you account for whether or not you're going to shuffle the answers. So in this case, if I put this big graphic here circling the correct answer, that's in a fixed location. And if I shuffle the answers, it may not be circling the right one. So that might be a case of using the object state trick and in combination with some content on your feedback layer. So there are a few ideas you can try if you want to give some immediate feedback instead of waiting till the end of a quiz for the quiz review. I'm sure there are about a million other ways you can do that, and I would love to hear your ideas of what you come up with for yourself.